To my dead, the pretty mean thing is about the whole Cake Island arc in the past. And I want this to be known that I don't think this is a bad arc per se. It definitely has some good moments. And it's leagues better than, say, the Zamasu arc in uh, Dragon Ball Super. Or most of the arcs, if not and all the arcs in Fairy Tale. However, for the quality of One Piece, I do feel this arc is a step backwards, and allow me to explain why. Everything until Luffy and Nami are captured by Big Mom, I think is really, really good. However, after that, there are times where the arc seems to come to a screeching halt, and one chapter will be focused around one singular event, and nothing else will happen. We get multiple chapters of Luffy struggling against the chain, and then when he finally escapes, and you think the arc is picking up, we end up running around for a ton of chapters, and just running, and running, and running. There was a major problem in Dressrosa, but I don't think it was that bad, and I'll explain why later. Then we eventually outline with Capone, and we get to the wedding. The wedding is really good. The stuff in the wedding I like. But eventually, after the stuff with Capone, we then end up running again. Instead of just leaving, like we were supposed to, because this arc was initially supposed to be a short get-in-get-out arc, we end up running some more, and then we ran for like 10 chapters until we eventually started Luffy vs. Katakuri. The problem is, is that in Direct Rosa, we didn't know how Luffy would defeat Del Flamingo. Hell, there were people speculating that Law would be the one to defeat Del Flamingo, and Luffy wouldn't. And that question of what will happen was very interesting. We know what their plan is, we know they're going to get away, and we know who's going to win and who's going to lose. We know at the end of the day, Big Mom isn't going to be defeated, and yet, we do have the question of how will Luffy beat Katakuri, but that question was introduced so late in the game that I honestly don't think it matters. There were still chapters and chapters where we are essentially just waiting for them to escape. You can't have the character running when we know where they're running to, we know Ryder running, and we know they're gonna get away, and we know a straw hat isn't going to die. Oda could kill a straw hat, but let's be honest, we all know he's not going to do that. So we're going to especially not with the entire crew there. So we're in a situation where we're just waiting for them to run away, and it becomes very tedious. And it becomes every week it's the same thing of them avoiding death and running. Avoiding death and running. And it's very much the same kind of thing every week. The other major problem I have with this arc is that I really don't like the way Pudding was handled, and I think it presents Oda's biggest problem, and perhaps the only thing I will say Naruto had definitively over One Piece, which is the way the author handled female characters. Kishimoto has not handled his female, character, female characters well, but he also definitely writes them differently. Every time we are introduced to a female character in an arc, they end up being a damsel in distress, and it's becoming so formulaic, it kind of bothers me. So when we got Pudding, I was really blown away. I wasn't expecting the damsel of a straw hack would need to help out to turn out to be some evil, psychotic bitch that wanted to blow Sanji's head off by shooting him up with bullets. Sanji then compliments her eye and she turns good. A woman who mind-raped Sanji's sister, messed with her memories, and talked to the house, she would smile and laugh as she filled Sanji's body with bullets, turned good because a man said her forehead was pretty. Her third eye or whatever was pretty. My response to that is that a really stupid, generic, cliche writing, especially considering you're talking about a female character. That is not interesting, that is not unique, and to be honest, her flip personality gag isn't funny, because Oda made us hate Pudding. You can't make build up an audience to hate a character, and then make them good. Now, some people would argue he did this with Nami, that is not true. He built us up to like Nami, destroyed that foundation, 
made us hate Nami, and then changed it around so Nami was never actually bad in the first place and made us feel sympathetic for Nami. That was a nice, unique character thread that was really interesting. With this, you kind of just have putting really, really evil. Sanji said her for her third eye is pretty. Putting good now. And it's really just not good writing in my opinion. I think it's very boring and generic. And I think it's putting to the crew. Honestly, I'll be very disappointed. I won't be angry like I was with Rebecca, but I'll just be disappointed. And with Pudding being such a prominent character in York, whatever she focused on, instead of being like that really funny or that cute or whatever, I'm just kind of like, this isn't good. I don't like this. I really don't like Pudding. And I'm not going to change my mind just because she's suddenly good now because of the really contrived reason. I'm sorry, the reason putting it good and contrived and I don't like it. Okay, and then there's another thing I need to talk about, which is that Hulk Kick Island was meant to be a get in, get Sanji, get out. It was meant to be quick and fast. That was why nobody minded us going here before Wano. I didn't want to bring up Wano in this video, but I'm gonna have to. Wano is what we all want to see, and at this point, I'm becoming concerned because Oda's really messing up with his arc and I'm worried he's not going to do, do Wano justice because he's been letting me down a lot lately in my personal opinion. The point is, is that even while Luffy vs. Katakuri is very good, maybe we could have gotten that way earlier and like right before the wedding, we could have gotten to the wedding or maybe even at the wedding we could have gotten this fight and then we could have left. What is we, but his arc should have ended at the wedding and it is now looking like it's going to go on for another couple months. And I'm just like, this arc was not supposed to be like a two, three year arc. It's not supposed to be that long. I don't think people realize this arc is almost over a year long already. It's not already over a year long. And it's very, very concerning. And I'm just like, this arc was supposed to be going, get Sanji and get out. And it just, it's divulged. To divert it into something just filled with putting contrived reasons for being good, lots of running, and few and far good moments in between. Like, there's a good moment, but they're spread out so far from each other. And then recently, we began Luffy vs. Katakuri, which is very good, and I am really enjoying, but it makes me not want to review the manga, because I may be saying, this chapter was really good, or this chapter was really bad. There's no in-between with Oda, and I wish, I wish we could get more of that. I wish, instead of running, we could focus on other things. Like, instead of showing running, why don't we focus on what's going on on Wano with Zoro, or switch around to other characters, anything. But the way the pacing has been handled is just not good, and I have not enjoyed it. And this is just me rambling about Hulk Island for like eight minutes. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos. I was going to upload a live reaction and discussion last week, but my uh, recording broke in the middle of the chapter, so I didn't upload it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video, if you did, subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.